it seems the party that is uh, your party, yes. APC, is divided in the state, uh, which will, many people will turn it as uh, uh, a family divided or a divided family. How, how do you think uh, that will work for the party? I think uh, I, I, I also have to correct you. We are not um, really divided. The, but the we, there, there are two chairmen. We don't have two chairmen. There are Gandujia and Konkosia, which every side have their own chairmanship uh, uh, chairmanship candidate. We have one chairman, Engineer Bashiri Hayakarai, who is the acting chairman as junior. What happened to Dogwa? Well, if you allow me to answer, then perhaps you'll be able to know what happened to him. We have one chairman, Engineer Bashiri Karai, acting chairman in his own capacity, as approved by the national uh, leadership of the, of the party, the MPP sector here in Abuja, as presented to him his offer uh, of appointment and act, acting capacity uh, uh, recently, you understand? And as such, that puts to end any skirmish that has been ongoing in terms of the leadership of the party. If I can take you back a bit uh, to uh, the, the, the issue of uh, the that you mentioned, prior to the coming of Engineer Bashir Karai as the acting chairman, uh, in the state, the, the, the state executives passed a vote of no confidence on the former chairman, that is Dogua, and then uh, uh, an acting uh, person, the name of uh, Raja Abdullah Abbas, was appointed in, uh, as an acting capacity. But the National Party said that the, lead, um, the right thing to do is for the executives to nominate one of them that has been duly elected along with uh, the rest of the escorts that were elected with Dubwa, who can serve as the acting capacity pending the next uh, Congress. And that was what the Kano State uh, chapter of the APC rectified. And now there is no issue of uh, leadership. To but uh, mostly in all the portfolio congressmen in your state, uh, we, there are two, two sections in the APC. This one, they bought um, uh, uh, the form from the Concosia side, this one they say from the Gandujia side. How can you relate those? those I'd, 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 as far as the state party is concerned, we only have one legitimate leadership, and that is where legitimate candidates, including those uh, uh, on the uh, in house opposition, they went to the party and You tag them in house opposition? Yes, because Why? they do not believe in the leadership of the party. So they went and bought their forms, they brought it to local government chairman who uh, signed their forms and submitted. And everybody, in fact, the sale of these forms was conducted uh, not in the party secretariat, but everyone that is interested, whoever you are, as long as you are a member of the party, go to the banks, pay your money, and collect your form. So it wasn't done by any individual. Okay, uh, let me move away from the issue of local government election. Last week, so many things happened in, the, in your state, uh, like the issue of the statement by the uh, former, uh, the, uh, the current uh, commissioner of uh, special duties, Abdullah Abbas, who said that uh, if Konkosu decided to actually go for that his brief um, visit to Kano, they should stone him. And uh, eventually something happened which uh, led to a clash between the supporters of Congress and uh, some supporters of uh, of uh, of uh, Tenduji. What are you going to see on that? Well, first of all, let me affirm to you that the administration of Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduja has remained um, a very peaceful one. He is a promoter of peace and stability, not only in the polity, but also in the overall uh, state, that's kind of state. And secondly, uh, if I can take you back a bit to the issue of uh, the comments attributed to Honorable uh, Abdullah Abbas, uh, you know how they say in Hausa we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, proverbs and uh, things like that. So by and large, it was, he was quoted out of context to mean that he's assigning who he's in telling his supporters to go and stone anybody. But the police, police have already arrested him and uh, he has been released, which shows that uh, maybe he had made that, uh, that statement. There's a difference between arrest and there's a difference between being invited to shed more light on what has been said. And that is what has happened. If he's arrested, he wouldn't be free now working. 
is there free in the state? No one has arrested him. The police did, did the police tell you they arrested him? It was just called to make sure that the police understand what is the contest of his remarks. Because obviously he has been quoted out of, uh, he has been misquoted, and of course with the advent of, uh, of uh, uh, evil mischief makers, they blow it out of proportion. In the clean kernel state, we have maintained for the past two years, two and a half years of uh, the administration of the Alabama regime, we have remained fair and large peaceful. Not only in the polity, but in the overall affairs of the state. But what, what is your government doing on the issue of those that say, uh, this one, Ganduja, no uh, Basulu, Konkwasiya, uh, Shege, uh, Kafasa, all those things. What is the government doing on that issue? Because this is what would be called a uh, head speech from both sides. Well, I, I, I clearly nobody will condone any violence. Uh, I personally have to also uh, call on politicians on all sides, on all sides, you understand. Nobody is exempted from uh, remarks that are complimentary. But the bottom line is that people need to understand that everyone has his right, has a right to express his opinions. But most importantly, the way and manner you express and uh, pass your message should be taken into account. So all I have to say is that uh, the government does not condone it, and we are pre we are appealing to everybody, everybody. Let, that, let us not be sentimental in terms of uh, the way and manner we, we go about our uh, constitutional right of um, participating in elections and politics and what have you. The most important thing is that all, everybody, not just within APC, but in PDP and other parties, even those that are obser uh, observers, you know, the way and manner you pass your message is paramount, you understand? And that is what we are appealing to everybody. Quickly, uh, before as our time is running, uh, there are allegations that uh, Abla Umar Gwenduje is a sectional leader in Kano State. How? How true is that? How? Because it's a, uh, many people say that his appointment is largely from the north and central. I understand. Because he was elected in, uh, in, uh, with the highest, one of the highest votes in recent times that any governor has won uh, election in the state. So to, to, to claim that uh, he's a sectional leader it doesn't even count because what was the what was the vote of his opponent in Kano State? The, the, the gap, the disparity between the two of them cannot even... Cannot I mean even the vote. issue of appointment. And the, the issue of appointment is that appointments are spread evilly. Of course, you might have due to one reason or the other, because there are a lot of political considerations when you are, when you are making appointments. By and large, you have to try as much as possible to accommodate as many groups as possible to understand, to form a government. You understand? So, to me, I think this is one of the most liberal government in terms of appointment. You know, don't forget, we only have... In Kano State? Yes, we only have 14 commissioners. Out of the 14 commissioners, we have 44 local governments. So there's no way you can be able to define, that you divide the commissioners that we have into the local governments that we have. But the other, appoint, the other appointments, uh, the advisors, senior special assistants, and what have you, are there to complement those areas that are, are lacking. On and lastly, what, what assurance would you give the Kano State uh, uh, indigenous or resident in terms of uh, a peaceful uh, local government election because we saw what happened in Delta State and uh, this uh, fight between uh, Gandujia and Konkosia is, 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 is threatening the peace of Kano State. I want for us in, 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 in the administration of Atlanta of Gandujia, we have been peace loving uh, administration. We have preached that. We have called just uh, a week ago. Uh, we had a second interfaith, interfaith and community leaders uh, conference where we brought in both the leaders of the Christian and Muslim communities as well as other non-indigenous that are resident in Kano, just trying to promote peace and stability in Kano. And not just within this, but we also extend it to other, other avenues of the state. So what I want to say is that people, if anybody from Kano that has listened to me, Kano is much more important, it's bigger than any individual. So 
So make sure that nobody asks you to go and uh, engage in things that are violent, in things that are going to, to, to turn the state around. We have, gone, we have gone a long way since the coming of this administration to be able to develop the state in terms of infrastructure, and as such, we should be able to maintain it. We should not go back to, the, to those days of vandalism, of political thuggery, and all that. I call on everybody from Kano listening to me, do not engage in that. Anybody that tells you to engage in violence, start with him. All right, thank you very much. Um, Salimu Tonku Yakase, who has been uh, the director of media to Kano State.